This is the tie right. As you take it out of your box, you'll have the basic tie right plus a lot of extra parts. There's three basic applications that we use on trailers. On this particular trailer, it is smooth on the top and corrugated offset on the bottom. So we're going to have to use a spacer like this to offset the tie right so that it's not crooked when we mount it. So this will go behind the tie right up on top with a piece of rubber glued to it next to the trailer. That's one application. Another type is where there's no offset. We'd put the rubber on the tie right directly and it would be smooth all the way down. This particular trailer is offset so we have to use it. Another type trailer, you might need this other longer piece. Some stock trailers, steel and aluminum stock trailers that are wider spacing, you might need this one either on the outside or possibly on the inside for a support. The other part that you'll have a to bolt on is this little piece that will go on the very bottom of your tie right to hold it secure. This goes on the inside of the tie right with a bolt coming out the nut on the outside of the tie right. The basic tools you're going to need is a half inch drive drill or something similar with a 7 16 inch bit and a socket that'll take a half inch nut. It comes with six long bolts. You have to use all six in the top. You can. On this application we're only going to use four. It comes with one short bolt for the bottom application. On this particular application, we have to glue it on the bottom side. So here we go. We generally hold the tie right up where we want it and just mark it and punch it with a punch and then we drill the holes. Okay, on this particular application, we want the rubber next to the trailer, so it's glued onto the spacer, and that fastens onto the tie right. And then we lift it in place and put a bolt through and get it lined up. Oh, yeah, there it is. There it goes. Okay, that's good. Now you can go on the inside and put the nuts on. And then, uh, that on some applications. Yeah. Get that one started now. Yeah. And then pull it off. Okay, be sure you get all four bolts in top and you get your tie right nice and straight. Tighten the top ones. Then we'll drill the bottom hole for the bottom bolt. There, there we go. These are self-locking nuts. Okay, now sometimes this bolt is going to be a little long. So we're going to have to cut this off. It's going to touch. So we have to cut it off. Then the last thing to do 
is to check the three safety devices that release the horse. You want to make sure that this eye bolt here will open up at 450 pounds pressure. It's got to be pointed like this. Then the tether strap that comes with the tie right connects in here like this. And you're ready for it to connect up your horse. You adjust it for the height we want for our horse. It's locked in place automatically. And the tether strap with a turtle snap on the end is ready to connect into your horse. And it's all set to release it. The turtle snap, the snap end, and the eye bolt. In case of an emergency, it will automatically release. Okay, now this is a smooth trailer all the way down, so the rubber is glued onto the tie right. We don't need any spacers on the outside. These are carriage bolts. We want to spin them so that the square on the carriage bolt fits into the square on the tie right. Okay, now on this particular trailer, we got to use a spacer to support it on the inside. The spacer has slotted grooves so it's easy to fit. When you put this spacer on, before you tighten the two ends, you got to make sure that the holes line up in the middle. Got it. Because if I tightened it down, it wouldn't. Have, I couldn't have got a hole in the middle. Sometimes we have to use this part here. If it's on a steel trailer or if the braces are wider than on this trailer then you have to put them way out here on two feet or if you want to mount it in an arena wall or something then you can put them on two foot center or sometimes we even have to use this for a spacer on the outside plus the small spacer if there's too much variation between the top and bottom that's why they come with all these extra parts mm -hmm.